This sure may not look like much to you, but I'm going to call this mission accomplished. This water is arriving at a contour ditch. Uh, and, and you know, without a map or something, with just, just a s small uh, field of view, you probably can't understand. But anyway, this is a contour ditch, a very long one. I, I need to get a... Oh, it's called the Grand Canal. Uh, anyway, uh, that is arriving from the Prise d'eau, the confluential dam that I've been working on for a while. And the confluential dam is all the way back there in the woods. I'm going to walk up that stream and now I can start to see about getting a little water wheel turning there, a little at first and beyond it I'm going to dismantle that building probably this morning with some help. I'm going to head upstream and show you where that water is coming from. I'm a little closer to the spool and you can maybe see, probably you can see that the water is running underneath that spool. Whimsically really for the fun of it, I, I'm going to fasten onto that spool these old uh, broken uh, barrels, plastic barrels, and and I think I can make them turn. But as I say, that's just really going to be whimsical. I'm going to build a very big and very serious water wheel there. Now I'm going to go up to that little building behind the spool. There's that spool just sitting on cribbing, and here is this building. Now the pigs, I've just let the pigs destroy this basically. It, no problem. I'm going to dismantle it today. Nothing's nailed together. It's just piled. But I've got to get to that now because it's right and centered underneath that building is where the water will turn uh, from coming down this uh, contour ditch which is going to be major. Maybe I'll call it the confluential ditch or something. Uh, it'll come on a, on a contour and then right here it'll turn at a right angle and at this point it will drop. Now I'm just letting it trickle its way down through but I'll probably have about a three foot drop to play with here. Now that's just going to be part of the situation. And later as I've explained before there's there's going to be a drop of water coming all the way over the top of this building which I'll then put back up. Now I'm going to head up the uh, toward the confluential dam. In all that jumble you might be able to make out the top of the spool. You probably can. And there's that building I just said I'm going to dismantle this morning. And now I'm to a second building that I'll dismantle this morning. You see Adam, I call him the ox man because he's so strong. Adam the ox man is going to be here this morning for a couple hours. And he and I will stack this stuff aside. Again nothing is nailed. But I need to move that because it's right underneath this. Well, it's a little hard to explain, but the water is going to run right underneath this for reasons. Well, I don't mean to tease you. It's because I think this is this was the outlet of a dam or a, a dam, a mine. I think this was one of the ways that they went into a mine up through there. But anyway, I, the water goes through there, and I'll allow it. To also escape to go and irrigate the uh, this part of the gardens, but I need to get to it, so I'm going to take that apart. Now we're going to go on. There's where we're headed, and you can see the water's coming from out of the woods. But I paused here because you can see, if you look carefully here, well, you can barely see. There's a little bit of water coming here too. Well, there's going to be a, a, a water wheel right about there. You got to just ignore the fact that everything's all tumbled. It's because the pigs have been here, and also it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's got the pieces dumped and not put together yet. There's going to be a water wheel there, a water wheel up where you can maybe make out a little bit of a spool, and a very high water wheel uh, over just a little bit, and the, and the water coming from them um, will will come into this. Uh, I'm just going to call it the confluential ditch, I guess, for now. Here's where the water is going to come off that really high one, another 20-foot one. And it will join. So this confluential ditch will scavenge the, uh, I don't want to call it wastewater, the, uh, oh, I can't think what it's called, the tail races from these two uh, uh, series of water wheels and head on to that next one. 
I'm at, I'm at the line of the woods now and you can see the water is still coming from there and it's coming clear it's because the pigs haven't been here now as I go up in through here I'm going to try to carry the camera as long as I can but it, it's it gets pretty hard to walk because the pigs have they're working on this area and it's got some kind of a story to tell which I'm only piecing together this may have been an area where the, the iron ore was washed that's what I suspect it may have been a pond and you know you can see skunk cabbage coming up I mean there's new growth that hasn't it's still coming up after the pigs have done their worst all these deep holes the pigs do that daily they, they, they come here and spend hours trying to get something that's about two feet under under the ground now as I walk up through here it's so muddy I'm not even going to try to carry the camera I'll start again when I get past this that's where I was and there should have been water flowing along here I was trying to see why and here this root it's, it needs to go under that root which I started to unblock uh, and I will but you see it's broken out the side but this is all so soft at the end of the day when the pigs have well, they still would stay here. I call them back to the barn and they'll come, but they almost come reluctantly because it's just such good eating down there. Well, then I, I sort of hurriedly repaired it so the water would get going again. So I'm gonna fix that now. I fixed that area. Now, normally when I uh, am cleaning the ditches, I pull the mud or the soil or whatever, I pull it downhill to build up the breast, the lower breast of it. Now I'm working on the uphill side because it's just so muddy there. I'm afraid I'll sink in. It's a little drier here on the uphill side. And and there you can see where imagine what my next hoe stroke will be. Or hoe pull. But we're really close to it now. What interests me the most this morning is just seeing all that skunk cabbage which is not giving up. That doesn't seem to be what they were what they're after. You know, it's almost like a I don't know. I mean, it looks like I'm going to end up when they're done with a, a new stand of skunk cabbage. I, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. That alder, I think I'm going to leave. That is such an old alder. You know, this area, it's been almost impossible to go through here for, well, except maybe in the heart of winter, for decades, maybe 50 years, 40 years. But now the pigs and I are, are opening it up and we're going to reveal what this was. And so these alders, and it's always been damp, so these alders have been about the only thing that would grow right in here. Now it's surrounded by higher trees, by normal forest. Um, it's going to have a story to tell. See, even above the ditch, they're, they're working and working on whatever they're finding down there.